Yadaro, let's go. What's up, my friends? Welcome. We have a we have quite the brew for you. I didn't build this deck. I take no credit for it. Uh, Shazak Chan, uh, S H Z O C K C H A N, five owed a league with this deck right here. Oh boy. Now, if you've watched my content, um, you know I've had two freshly brewed episodes. Episodes? What the hell's an episode? <laughs> episodes where I tried to make Astral Drift work. Uh, Naya and Bant slide decks. And they're both pretty cool. They're both a little... Eh, missing a little something. Um, but... This player here has built a straight red-white Astral Slide deck. And if you're old school, like I am, if you're a boomer, if you're an MTG paper boomer, um, you may remember the, the deck Astral Slide, like Rift Slide, back in the day. And that deck was super sweet. That was a long time ago. And Astral Drift's an enchantment. Whenever you cycle a card, you get to flicker one of your opponent's creatures till the end of turn. So, or I'm sorry, I'm sorry, any creature, any creature. So you can flicker your opponent's attacker, and now it's not attacking anymore. Uh, you can flicker your wall omens and draw a card. You can flicker Avalanche Riders. And um, you can also flicker your opponent's stuff. Now, one cool thing here is if you flicker your opponent's stuff and you have a Containment Priest in play, uh, your opponent's creature's gone forever, which is really, really cool too. And we have four four copies, four, of Yadara Wandering Monster. Um, cycles, obviously. Cycle at the fourth time comes into play, which is really cool. Strayath is really cool in this deck because it just cycles for free, which is awesome. Uh, Flourishing Fox, pretty cool one drop. Only three of these is kind of weird, honestly. Uh, two Condemns, not Path, Condemns. So we're also playing Blood Moon. And it's also a Blood Moon deck. So we're, uh, we got three Spirit Guides, we got Blood Moons. We're trying to just land a Blood Moon or an Astral Drift early and ride it out. Um, we got Cast Out as another Cycler here. Uh, Flourishing Fox Cycles. And of course the Cycling Lands, uh, Forgotten Cave and Secluded Step. Um... Only 21 land in this deck, including the cycling lands, feels really, really light. But we are playing out of cyclers, so we'll see how that plays out. One of Johnny Vengeant, too, and then one Gideon of Trials. Um, I'm not exactly sure why these cards are here, but we're going to just play it and find out and see what happens, right? Sideboard's got some Firewalkers in it. He's got some Valent Rescuers. Love this against Fair Decks. Love it. Super, super cool card. Um, Rest of Beasts, sure. Doesn't work with Yadaro, though, so you got to be aware of that. Deafening Silence for combo decks. Uh, extra Condemn. This card's great. Really good against Death Shadow decks, which is awesome. More Avalanche Riders. Uh, Sweltering Suns, not Anger of the Gods. This is a weird side, This is a weird sideboard card. Because usually, um, you'd play this card in your main deck. In case it's bad, you can cycle it. But not playing Anger of the Gods is pretty weird. Um, and then we get an Abrade and a Pithing Needle. So, pretty interesting list here. My, my thoughts are it's a little light on lands. Uh, I kind of want the fourth Flourishing Fox. I'm not sure about these rando Planeswalkers or fall y or four Yodaros, but um, we're just going to find out and uh, and see how it goes here. And um, let's see see what happens. We just played a cool Esper Reanimator deck. You missed that one. Look for it on the YouTubes a little bit later. But right now, we are going to slide. Just slide with me. Just slide with me. And um, we'll just do it. Just try it out. Just try it out. Remember, folks, check out CoolStuffInc.com. My article from today may interest you. Um, I think this one came out really, really well. I don't toot my own horn too much, but uh, today's article is how to play around counterspells. Um, playing against control decks and playing around counterspells is a, a difficult skill, but a really, really good one to have. And uh, a lot of newer players, less experienced players struggle with this. And uh, I wrote an article about it. So... <laughs> If you want to beat counter spells, you want to learn the uh, how to do it. Here it is. All all the secrets are here. You'll never believe secret number five. But for real though, I think it's like this article is actually like pretty uh pretty good for y'all. So check it out. Uh, CoolStuffInc.com. Let's go. Crisscross. Slide to the left. Slide to the left again. Slide to the left one more time. All right. So yeah, we're on the draw. We have a land, two Street Wraiths, and a Wall of Omens, and a Yadaro, and a Blood Moon, and an Astral Drift. So this hand could be anything. It could even be a boat. Um, this is what I was saying about the, the cycling lands. You don't want to play these as lands, usually. You want to just cycle them. So 
21 lands with, with six cycle lands is tough, but we're going to keep this on the double, on the back of Double Street Wraith and being on the draw. If we can just draw one land, we can get Wallowmans going, and we should be able to find land number three. So we're going to keep. A little risky, but... Hall Fountain tapped. Go. All right, so uh, Blood Moon. So we're just cycle right now. I would like to play a land that's not secluded step if possible. That's an Avalanche Riders. Oh god. Oh god. Hello, darkness, my old friend. So, uh, someone want to do like a land dance or something for next turn? Yeah! We get it. We get it. Super standard? I don't know what that is. And I am playing the arena open tomorrow, yes. Alright, so we gotta get a uh, sacred boundary and play wall omens, right? Is it wall or is it Yadara? Yeah, it's gotta be wall, right? Makes drift better. This is very different than standard cycling decks. Um, those decks only cycle to get the Zenith Flare. This deck has a lot more different things going on. We're not all in on that. Um, we're also not playing all like one and two drops and being aggro. Peak? Oh, you don't want to look at this hand. <laughs> you don't want to look at this hand. All right. Now we got to draw land. We do have uh, two shots at a land next turn, so... I like Peak, honestly. I'm, I'm, I think Peak is pretty great. All right. So we have like this really awkward scenario here also of destroying all these non-planes and these blood moons, but we're going to uh, just cycle first and try and draw a non-secluded step land. That's Yadaro cycle number one. <laughs> oh my god. Full house. Full house. Maybe they'll cast Path to Exile on me. Huh? Can we do that? That'd be pretty cool. Shark Typhoon for one. That's a cycling card. Oh, boy. All right, let's draw a land next turn, please. I guess we can cycle Astral Drift, right? And just kill the shark and draw a card. Yeah, nice Blood Moon with the Devil Island in play. They saw the Blood Moon at peak, so our Blood Moons are basically worthless. Okay, we drew a land. It's, it's, a, um, it's not a... Uh, it's not in Plains, but I don't like overcasting Blood Moon anyway. I guess Blood Moon turns off... Uh, does turn on Mystic Sanctuary, which is kind of real, so... I mean, playing Avalanche Riders is, like, pretty, pretty ballsy. Although we could cycle Astral Drift on our upkeep. They kind of have to counter it, honestly. If we play Avalanche Riders here. Let's just do it. Avalanche Riders is so freaking cool. I mean, stops Mystic Sanctuary in, like, the... The, the, the abstract, not like this turn in particular. All right, so mana leak that, sure. Really, hand couldn't be much worse here. <laughs> Life in the Loam is also a huge component in my Astral Drift decks. Um, which is deck lax. Baby shark, do do do. I've tried Bant. I've tried Bant and Naya. They're both on my YouTube. You can look for them under the freshly brewed section. Uh, both eggs are super sweet. They're gonna play Jace the Mind Sculptor. Uh, that's still a magic card? <laughs> sure, I guess. It's never really good against us, because we, all we have is blood moons and things that affect creatures. Alright, 
So brainstorm and then say go. They didn't play a land. They have six cards in hand. All right. Um, I mean, if we Blood Moon here, we don't have any white, I guess. But they can't fetch land with Jace anymore. Oh, man, this is still gross. We can just float a white and, and spear guide out this containment priest also. I'm playing Blood Moon. I think in order to win this game, we need to cheese them out. We have like six or seven planes in our deck, so... So we can just draw a planes. And now, like, their fetch lands aren't on, their sanctuaries aren't on, they don't have white mana. Um, they have Jason play, which is a big problem, but now you have a thing that can attack it at least. If you draw a planes, you can, like, start drifting their sharks and stuff, and, you know... All right, so we, we want to draw planes this turn. Draw planes right now. This is the turn. And now they have a shark typhoon. We can't even attack. Oh, Astral Drift would be so good here. Do we attack Jace or no? Do we attack Jace or no? They did, they did brainstorm and not bounce the, the priest. Oh, man. This is so stressful. Um... If we attack into a shark, it's so bad. I'm just gonna play Spirit Good. We have no white mana, so we can't do anything with Astral Drift. Alright, we're saying go. Not attacking either shark. Now if they want to cycle shark and attack us, we can attack the Jace back. They have a Snapcaster Mage. That makes sense, too. Snapcaster Peak. Wouldn't have been as bad as a Shark, but... Another peak. What's better than one peak? Definitely two peaks. I like peak. I think peak's great. Brainstorm again. How broken would Blood Moon be if it just messed up your opponent's lands? Uh, pretty broken. <laughs> pretty broken. They're going to hard cast Shark Typhoon. Oh my god. Oh my god. Alright. Um... That's a thing. That's a thing. I mean, we're playing Blood Moon because it just screws your opponent. I mean, just, you know, just obviously we have to draw a fetch land or a planes. We had to fetch for a red source. We didn't have one yet. We shouldn't draw any lands this game, honestly. Like, it's just kind of what happened, you know? Yadaro. Alrighty then. Alrighty then. We can Yadaro here. Draw basic planes. Yadaro again. Okay. Okay. Doesn't this turn off Yadaro though? <laughs> I think it's some issues. Uh, but. <laughs> it was a block the priest. They did. Yay. Yadaro again. <laughs> All right. I mean, it's the move over scry bug. Here's the Yadaro bug. What are the odds? Not good. Although on Magic Online, basically 100%. The problem is we're just going to lose this game anyway. It doesn't really matter, but... 
Yeah, not not a great not a great uh, not a great hand for us. Uh, it's possible we should have mulliganed, but Yadaro is sweet. I do love this card. This card is really really cool. We're gonna play Jace number two. We got a four four flyer. Sure, if we can Yadaro into a white source, we can drift the drift the shark. We can definitely win this game. They're going to bounce my spirit guide. White source. <gasps> okay. Okay. Um, so you're telling me there's a chance. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. There's Yudara. It's in the battlefield. They can't path it. We're not going to cash it. We're going to cycle drift to get rid of this shark so you can kill this Jace and not die. Uh, flourishing Fox. Then next turn we can cast drift and cycle Fox. Oh, 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 we have the, the spirit guide. But if I cast drift, they can just uh, they can just counter it. So, um, well, I, 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 I could have cast drift first. Yeah, I think I think casting drift is wrong though. They just have seven cards in their hand. They could easily just have a counter spell, and we need to do this now. So, we're going to just fire away. Attack Jace. Again, folks, if we cast Drift and they counter, we lose the game on the spot. So, we'll just take our cycle here. Opponent struggles to cast spells with Blood Moon in play, so. How does Yudaro interact the fifth time you cycle it? Ah, uh, you just get it back again. Beginning combat. Beginning combat. Get off my plane. Goodbye, shark. We can try and resolve a, a drift next turn. We'll see what they do. But other planes is nice. Another planes is nice. Okay. Okay. Um I mean now we can cast drift through a mana lake. They, they just have cryptic though. So let's just play a land attack and see what they do. I kinda think that we wanted to cycle the drift. Um we can just like cast flourishing fox and cast the mean spirit guide and just say go. Actually, then we can't have uh, the drift up. Um, what's up, Yogi? <laughs> I'll, I'll try to do that. Message me on Facebook or whatever to remind me. Pizza, ridiculous. It's I hate that Pizza Gate's like already a thing because I can't I can't call it Pizza Gate, but that pizza thing was ridiculous. Um, yeah, I'm just not playing a spell into Cryptic here. I guess they bounce Yudara, we just get it back anyway. I guess the Fox. They're ten. They just like counter whatever we get and then make a 4-4. Four, four. Whatever we play, I mean. Can I maybe just say go? I guess they can also just like bounce the Blood Moon. So maybe playing other Blood Moons in the cards, but then they can just counter it, bounce Blood Moon, and then they can crack all their fetch lands. Man, what do we do here? What do we do? Cryptic Command is just like bad, like basically any way you slice it. Um, deep dish gate. There we go. I think we, if we just say go, they just like end step cryptic command, bounce blood moon, and then just crack all the fetch lines and do everything they want, they want to do anyway. I mean, cast another blood moon. And if that, res if that doesn't resolve, we'll cast another one or play drift. That resolves too. That's pretty weird. Uh, okay. And ours just say go. They might have another typhoon. They know we have this drift though. End step snapcaster mage. Okay. P 
peak, sure. Get a 1-1 one, one baby shark, sure. I just like not play this land. I'm an idiot. I just screwed up. Should play this, obviously. No, we, we, we your planes. Never mind. I, I put a land. Yeah, I, I, I put the planes. Uh, all right, so. Here come the sharks. We're at five. Yadaro's still uh, turtling away here. Let's just untap. They discard Teferi to hand size. Draw another land, sure. Combat? Attack? They're at two? Okay, I mean, I don't think they can kill us through this drift. It's not like casting drift. Just gonna cast the Flourishing Fox. And then cast a Simeon Spirit Guide. Let's say go. Maybe they want to like cycle a huge shark and try and kill me, but like they just know we have this. I don't know what's going on, folks. I don't know what's up. Oh, game. Blouses. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. You're far too kind. We gotta stand up. We gotta go up here. You're far too kind. You're really, really. Oh. Seriously, I, I, you're, you're, you're all far too kind. You're far too kind. Um, what the was that game? Huh? What was that? What happened? Okay. Um. Yeah. So we're gonna bring in some cards here. We're gonna bring in Valent Rescuer. And Avalanche Riders. Wait, Jim's got legs? <laughs> Lieutenant Dan, you ain't got no legs. Uh, we're going to cut... I mean, Containment Priest seems pretty bad. It just turns off Yadaro. I get that it's good Drift, but like, you don't really need that. And then Bolt kills... Gee, I guess Condemn's worse than Bolt. So, uh, let me just have enough cards here. I guess Needle's fine for Jace. Uh, um... What was that game? Um, yeah, Priest does nothing good for us. I mean, Condemn kills sharks, but like that's not really like what we want to be talking about. What we want to be doing here. We can just drift sharks. That's fine. Rescuer should be good. Man, what a what a ridiculous ride! What a ridiculous ride that was. Oh man. Oh, can we get some we get some hype and chat, please, for that game. Make a little noise here, huh? Huh? Is that possible? Huh? We're all sleeping on the job here. We all are sleeping on the job. Keep. Hands great. Definitely gonna lose. <laughs> Not my deck. I on go. Alright, so. Mr. Fox, Mr. Fox. What time is it? You wanna know how you know it's not my deck? No snow lens. Simple as that. Peak. All right, here it is. Take a look for the world to see. How many modern decks run rule that deals with Yudaro? I mean, Path Exile. Like, I haven't showered in days. How do you know that? <laughs> How do you know I haven't showered in days, huh? What are you? Inside the house? The call's coming from inside the house. All right, so we'll just pop off on Street Wraith here. Smell-o-vision? Uh, I thought I had that feature turned off. Alright, we got lands this game, that's for sure. Um, we could Spirit Guide out of, out of Blood Moon. That seems kind of dumb. They just have Mana Leak and make us look stupid, so we'll just play, um... Just play Arid Mesa and just attack and cycle Yadaro, I guess.
They're going to path my fox? That's great. You get a 1-1 one, one mana rampant growth. It kills a card from their hand. We love it. Draw a cast out? Sure. That's great. I mean, the thing about Blood Moon is, like, they're a Cryptic Command Mystic Sanctuary deck, you know? So, like, it does still turn things off on their side. You don't. Uh, it's a conspiracy. All right. Um, I'm just going to guess Blood Moon here and make them counter it. It's so funny. I guess I'm getting a Plains. No cycle of cycle of steps, so. Yeah, he sure ain't wandering far, that's for sure. So we'll just, we'll just draw a counter spell out here. What if it's actually bugged? How good would Yudaro be if when you didn't it just went, went back on top of your deck? Like you cycled to draw a card and went back on top of your deck after you drew a card. That'd be like not good, too good, kind of good. Obviously, obviously it's very, very good. It's just better than Yudaro is. Yudaro is already playable. But like, is it busted? All right, well, they, unfortunately, they naturally drew their third aisle, and that kind of sucks, but... It's okay, Mystic Sanctuary or Fetch Land, so... I don't know what you mean. That is what it does. All right, so we'll cycle a uh, cast out. Planes, sure. Untap. Forgotten Cave. All right. Um, I don't mind just casting Simeon Spirit Guide, realistically. Let's just play... We need to see double red. Let's just play Secluded Step as a land. Our second red source. Yeah, he's cave, actually. And then... Just cast Simeon Spirit Good. Yeah. Now what are you going to do? You're going to Mana Leak my Spirit Cut. You got it. You got it. He got it. Hall Fountain. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes you just gotta cast spells. That's how you play around counter spells. Wanna read my article on how to play around counter spells, coolstuffing.com. Yeah, I gotta get the FBI. I had to talk to uh to Fox Mulder. Yeah, he's in the basement. Yeah, they didn't really let him out very often. Yeah, is that is that can I talk to him? Can I talk to him? Yeah, I got I got a real issue over here. I'm not really sure what's going on. Um Strange stuff's happening. I might even say it's paranormal. Alright, um Is that like is that like three times in a row now? That's actually pretty pretty weird. Um Okay, sure. Sure. All right, so we're going to cycle uh, a step. All right, let's just... I mean, I guess we're going to cycle Yadar, right? Because we're going to hit it. We're just going to draw it again. Gideon of the Trials. I don't understand. We didn't draw Yadara. All right, we're not playing this into, into like Mana League or Snapcaster. I guess we're just gonna play a land set go. We'll just cycle Squid Step, End Step, and then in theory, Yadaro should be our top card. I guess maybe I should I should have cycled because if we if it was Yadaro, we could have attacked this turn. But all right, all right, conspiracy is over. Everything's uh everything's the way it should be. Right, we're gonna hold this cast out. Um, Street Wraith. All right. Gideon of the Trials. Probably not resolving, but Force of Negation. Let's cycle this. Kind 
Kind of like running out of stuff to do, honestly. I only have three cards left, though. Hey! Let's show colonnades off. Winds up Heath. All right, this is getting a little gross. I mean, cast out, like, answers Jace or, like, a shark. If we cycle it, it might just, like, draw land, uh, which would suck. Um, but I guess we just say go. They've got four cards in hand. They keep playing lands, which is good, because their lands obviously have no value. That's a, that's a good card. Um, makes cycling cast out more tenable, obviously. Right. What do you think about a red white hollow one deck with the fox? That could be cool. That could be cool. Alright, I guess we're just gonna cycle right now. Mr. Fox, Mr. Fox. Uh, I think we just say go. I'd rather a cantrip 1-1 one, one than a fox. That might just get, like, wrath or something. So we'll just say go here. Oh, wow, na, 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 na. What is this deck exactly? Uh, that. Exactly. <laughs> this is a... Boros Astral Slide deck that I saw on the 5 out lists. And, uh, crisscross. Crisscross. Yeah, I was thinking just slab with me. Just slab with Will Smith in, uh, oh, sh sh Nikes. That's good. Uh, getting jiggy with it. Na 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 Getting jiggy. That's what I was looking for. Wall omens, awesome. Na 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 na. Oh. Oh, it's Lightning Helix! Oh my god! All right, so this is definitely getting path exiled like ten thousand percent of the time. Um, but sure, let's just cast the wall omens first. And the problem is when they path it, they're gonna have one a uh, one one to block the rescuer, but. You can like bolt it, I guess. All right. Turtle time. I do love Yadaro. I'm not gonna lie. I, I think his card is so freaking cool. Oh! <laughs> A Yadaro is never late. He arrives precisely when he means to. So they're doing this pre-combat. So we get to do it again. So they're trying to purge this. We're going to cycle Yadaro in response and make a new Yadaro. This is, this is freaking great. I'm going to keep the new one. What's going on? It's not a bug. It's a feature. Um, okay. I've already played a land, so I can't attack with the, uh, I can't bolt. <laughs> ah! <laughs> this is getting a little, a little spooky. I don't know. Spooky Mulder over here. All right. So they're going to play a Jace the Mind Sculptor. Sure. Question, does Yadara work like this in arena or in paper? Lead hacks, yeah, I'm a lead hacker. Brainstorm, shuffle cheats. Only good thing about COVID, no paper tournaments, no shuffle cheats. Chase to bounce Yadara, yeah. Um, all right, so we draw. Pithing Needle, that's pretty sweet. Start there, right? What kind of sorcery is this? 
Oh man. All right. Uh, how about Jace the Mind Sculptor? And we can't bolt the the four four shark. Maybe we can just like attack. Yeah, we just like serve with like these. We kill Jace. Just bolt the Jace too, I guess. Um. Hmm. Oh, that was a you don't play. I need to do that. Get him. Get him. Oh, wrong button. Ah, uh, fine. Attack. So they go to I have a path. So you might as well let the path resolve. They don't need to have another Yudaro, so this is fine. They get a shark. Path resolves. Oh, we're actually out of lands. We just run our lands this game? That's sick. Uh alright, that's kinda gross. Um and then we're gonna bolt the bigger shark. We'll just see a Daro on their end step. Get on a token. They learn their lesson, yeah. Aether Gust targeting Lightning Bolt. Oh man, we're... we play a land yet? Because we can cycle and draw the bolt, which is pretty sweet. They have zero cards in hand. See, if we drew the Yodaro there, then that's the point where we gotta gotta go drive to Renton and see what's going on with uh, Wishes of a Coast. Um, because that would have been funny. That would have been like the the all time best moment of a stream ever. <laughs> Look at this motley crew of cards we have in play. They have one card in hand, and they're attacking with everything. Holy. All right. Draw. Lightning Bolt. They have Cryptic Command? That would suck. No. Just another Path Exile. That's really bad. Um, pretty fortunate. They have five power in play. I guess we're going to kill this and get in for five and just try and have lethal for next turn. All right? Three, six, seven, eight. They block this. Yeah. All right. That sucks. Um, good draw by our opponent. That's for sure. Uh, we can look. We don't got any lands left, though. Well, Lieutenant Dan, you ain't got no lands. And now we have a Yadaro in the graveyard and a Yadaro in exile. Two Yadaro in exile. We only have one Yadaro left. All right, brick here, please. We need a brick for a turn. Sango, love it. Spell. <laughs> I mean, it is a spell, I guess. Uh, no good attacks, so I guess I go. They're so mountainy. We could like draw an astral draft. That'd be cool. Cryptic command, bounce pithy needle, draw a card, make a four four. That's so bad. That's so bad for us. What a good draw. Come on, opponent. Why you gotta be like that? Am I going to draft Commander Legends? Nah. I don't really, not really interested in Commander. It's not looking good, folks. 
I guess the Yadaro off the top would do it. That never happens. Drawing Astral Drift wouldn't be bad. Alright, I guess. I'm going to two. Forgotten Cave, K. Avalanche Riders. Don't think that does it, folks. All right, tough game, tough game. It's fine, it's fine. Um, yeah, I mean, there's not much to bring in. Like, you don't really have any other cards to bring in, so we shouldn't leave it. Like, probably a little heavy on Blood Moon here, and these Wall of Omens aren't great. Neither are the Lightning Bolts, but we draw a lot of lands that game. We draw a lot of lands that game. Deafening Silence makes it hard for us to double spell into their counter spells, so like it's kind of awkward. It's good against like Snapcaster Mage, but silly Jim, let's draw better cards. I know, I know, right? All right, going first. Let's go. We have six minutes left. Holy shit! Uh, all right, I'm gonna keep. Playing Rescue Run 2, Blood Moon on 3. Got two Cyclers. Here we go. Let's go. Rescuer seems really good on the play. So. A Johnny Vengeant? That's kind of tight. We could wall and cycle rather than play Blood Moon and get it mana leaked. Oh man, they snap cast your mage right there. The thing is, that if this Blood Moon resolves, the game just ends, which is kind of sick, but I think we're just going to wait. Let's try and maybe see if they'll, if, they'll, uh, if they'll counter this. I think we're mana screwed, maybe. Sure. I mean, I guess we could have played the land and gotten uh, got a token. So that might have been bad. Lightning Bolt, sure. Ooh, and I mean lands. Okay. So definitely have like Mana League or something. It's our buddy. There he is, the turtle man. One more land we can play. We can play. Uh, we can play. Blood Moon through Mana Leak. End step. Cycle Shark Typhoon for zero. Aether Gust plays too, it's true. They drew a land. It's a basic. And they have Fielder Ruin too, that's pretty lucky. Alright. I guess Shark and Fetch Land the same thing, but. And the problem is they have all spells in their hand, so. It's only getting worse for us. I'm not gonna cycle cast out. That's pretty sweet. Um, let's start by trying to Blood Moon. Oh, they're gonna float and then purge it? Sure. That's fine. Um, so there's Blood Moon. We'll cycle cast out, trying to draw two drop, I guess. Yeah, 
That's fine. Eh. Sure. Drawing a land next turn would be really good, so you can double spell. You can play Moon and either Riders or Johnny, which is pretty great. So, pretty happy with land or spell next turn. I draw the basic. Tilt. Oh, that is a land. If Blood Moon doesn't play, that will come in untapped. So they might feel there's some response here. They don't have an answer. Then we can play Avalanche Riders and kill a basic. But we're pretty far from winning the game, though. Um, Aether Gust. Okay. I'll put it on top. I'm just going to play this tap. So, yo. I want a double spell next turn, so... Don't love playing land seven as a cycling land tapped, but. They could have fielded us and then Aether Gusted that. So they probably, probably have two counter spells. It's kind of scary. How many basic planes they have? No, I have no idea. Oh, two. They just, they just play, they play another basic planes? They just keep drawing the basics? So sick. Resolves? <gasps> Bingo. All right. Hold on. They could have Mana Leak. They gotta have Mana Leak. What else can they have in Mana Leak, right? I'm just gonna say go. I'm just gonna say go. And then we'll Rider the Island next turn. Or they just have snap purge. That's pretty sick. All right, that's bad. Maybe they would have snap. They had to snap purge. Oh, I could have considered that, I guess. Well, if we draw a land, we have riders and a Johnny. If we draw a spell, we're happy too, so. Mystic Sanctuary, a tapped. Let's ride. Jeez. All right. I guess when they have a miss land drops, they're going to have it all, right? Because they just have all spells. All right. We're going to cycle in response to this. We draw something that's not Avalanche Riders. Maybe a two drop? Yadaro? Ew. Um, we're going to cycle again. So we want to put the Avalanche Riders on top of our deck, most likely. That's not bad. It's actually kind of sweet. So now if the rider resolves, we get to drift it. And if it doesn't, we'll just cast Astral Drift, I guess. It's kind of awkward. Don't want to drift these, that's for sure. So they're gonna field us to stop us from drawing avalanche riders. I respect that. I respect that. They're gonna shock. Um yeah, I think we're in a bit of trouble here, honestly. Draw Arab Mesa. Not a good draw. Not a good draw. Um Keep drawing lands, dude. We're playing like 20, but 20, 21 lands, some stupid low number of lands. Why is Johnny in this deck? I have no idea. It's not my deck. So. Uh, 
I know we're casting it, though. It's probably getting countered, but we're casting it. Oh, yeah, they, have a, they have a colonnade. They can just kill it. Well, this is actually better, though. They'll just counter it. This is even better. So, cryptic counter draw, sure. All right, so... They still have a lot of resources, too. Yeah. Um... Yeah, we didn't like just do we didn't do enough this game. Okay. Bolt it in response. Don't counter it, please. All right, so five, four, four minute brainstorm. We got nothing left though, so like we uh, let's draw Yadaro. Yadaro would be a really good draw because we get to draw a card off Wall of Omens too, and we should work towards getting Yadaro in play too. So, yeah, not the, not the best draws this game for sure. Um, Yadaro, forgotten game that plays. So cycle, exile this. I'm gonna path my thing in response, sure. Drop recycling. Off. Off. Cycler. Draw a cycler. Oh. Yes. No, yes. Can't do it twice, whatever. This is fine. Our clock's also running, so I'm trying to play fast here. Uh, yes. Drop recycling. Fox. Simeon Spirit Guide. Okay. Okay. It's very Time Raveler. That's kind of gross. I mean, what are they going to bounce, I guess, right? Sure. Definitely getting countered. Yeah, Life Malone is obviously a really good cycling lens. Force negation, too? You need to take it easy, opponent. You need to chill out. All right, you need to take a step back and just chill out. Gideon means we can't time out. Yep. Fire up the colonnade. A lot happier if I had a drift in play. Maybe I shouldn't have, shouldn't have cycled the other drift. I should have just played it. Come on. It's like two lands in our deck. I think there's actually one land in our deck. I've been playing this match for like a year. I shouldn't have cracked this. That was stupid. I don't know. I don't think I have any lands left. Yeah, I don't have any lands left. All right, whatever. All right, so they, they feel the ruin. Um, we need to draw an answer to Colin Otter. We're dead. Blood Moon. 
And that, that had all of his game. All his Aether Gust and Celestial Purges. Super, super rude. Mystic Sanctuary, Cryptic Command. <laughs> Captain Jack, resub. Thanks so much. Closing in on four years now. Damn. Keep it up, man. You're killing it out there. Uh, thing. Oh, Yadaro, buddy. Is that four or three? I don't remember. I think it's like three. <laughs> I can't even attack. Oh my god. Come on! Oh, my red sources, too. It's our first match. It's, just, it's taking about a year and a half. They just shuffled their cryptic command away. <laughs> Come on, man! And they're gonna they're gonna win with like six seconds left. Ah. Oh. Whoa, where does the time go? Old biscuit, thanks to Risa, appreciate that. We do have an avalanche rider left. We got a blood, miss, blood moon. They can just bounce it. Non-land permanent. I mean, they can just they can just bounce it, but whatever. Yeah. Can they kill us in 40 seconds? That is the question. That is the question. Attack your Teferi. Can they do it? They have 32 seconds. They're blocking. They need to tap five lands, move to combat, activate Colonnade, and kill us. Also, we have Condemn. In which case... Phew. Sixteen seconds. Ah, oh, they got it. They got it. 12 seconds. 10 seconds. 10 and in. 10, 9, 10, 8. Uh, yeah, I mean, you know. Oh, another Blood Moon, too. Brutal. Brutal. This deck, um, there's some cool things happening here, but this deck needs some work. Um, whew. Whew. Give me another Yadaro, you know? Where are my, where my Yadaro's at? We just never draw Yadaro, ever. <laughs> All right. Fluffy Wolf 2. We just played this person's deck. We played the Esper, Esper deck in the last one. We'll always have game one. That is true. All right. This deck's sweet. I mean, this hand's sweet. I can keep this. If we had Snow Basics, we'd have won that match. Yeah, probably. Turn one, Thoughtseize. Flourishing Fox. Yadaro. Yadaro's so cool. Yeah, this is my hand. None of the cards are particularly good, but you gotta choose one. You don't got a choice, my friend. Don't got a choice. Astral Drift is gone, sure. So they definitely have a way to kill our fox, obviously. Knowing that they probably have a way to kill a fox, maybe we just like don't even play it. Just don't even bother. Um, just like play a land, cycle it. I'm like strand. The, I mean, there are very few targets for fatal push in our deck, so I'm just gonna play tap lands. There you go. I'm not sure what I want to do yet, and I like to see what they're doing first. There's just no way they don't have an answer to this if they if they didn't take it. So. Blood Crypt, Croxa. All right, I guess. Uh, so I would say Blood Moon's probably not good here. We're gonna ditch that. I guess we'll cycle Wraith first. Let's see what's up. Forgotten Cave, sure. K 
Okay. Um, hmm. Let's just say go. Cast out for Crocs is pretty good. Ensnaring Bridge? Um, can we beat Ensnaring Bridge? Yeah, you've cast out, duh. All right, sure. Uh, yeah, sure, that's fine. So it's Cycle Forgotten Cave. Windswept Teeth. And I guess we're cycling the Fox, right? Simeon Spirit Guide, okay. <gasps> there he is. There's my buddy. Um, okay. Can we beat Ensnaring Bridge? What's up, Frank? Resub, four months. Hi. Thanks so much. Hello. English of Kozilek. So I guess we're just going to pop the Spirit Guide off, right? <laughs> All right, go nuts. Take a look at my hand. My beautiful hands. Yeah, it's a Yadara, wandering monster. Big whoop. Want to fight about it? All right, so let's cycle Yadara. Street Wraith. All right. And I guess we'll get uh, a Plains. Cycle Forgotten Cave. Blood, <laughs> Blood Moon is back. Uh, okay. Drawing a good amount of lands here. Uh, let's cycle Shoot Wraith, I guess. I guess Blood Moon will make it difficult for them to cast Croxa, maybe. So. Shrug. Shrug. Turns out fetches too, it's true. It's true. This is game one of this match. Contempt. I forgot we had that card. Uh okay. Yeah, I mean we're just like not doing anything, but they also aren't doing anything. We've got two real fun cards in play here in Snaring Bridge and Blood Moon. They're gonna lightning bolt me. Okay. And they're gonna play Pia and Kieran Nalar. Okay. I mean, sure. I mean, we're just cycling cast out. Like, we can deal with the bridge later. We more cast outs. Like, <laughs> please, somebody help me. Please, somebody help me. Where's the turtle dragon at? Boz says, hey, are you a, a big Halloween family? COVID is not slowing down our celebrations, not dressing up, neighborhood distance, trick-or-treating, etc." Uh Yeah, actually, Chandra, what? Give me back, give me back that cast out. <laughs> actually, let's just do this instead. Actually, they have, they have a bridge in flight, it doesn't even matter. Um, yeah, what a terrible hand. Like, I don't, I don't understand, he just didn't do anything. Like, <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, so those who don't know, tomorrow is my stepson John's birthday. Uh, his birthday is Halloween, and it'll be 10, and uh, we're doing a special stream for him. Obviously, COVID, we can't do a party for him. We can't wait trick or treat or anything like that. So what I did was made some phone calls. Hello? And uh, we're going to be front page on Twitch with the John and Jim show, which is a show we do together playing cooperative games. You can, like, you can find old episodes on my YouTube if you'd like, and I'll be on from 9 a.m., it's 8.30 a.m. The front page is from 9 to 11 a.m. tomorrow morning. So look for that on stream. Definitely watch for that. It'll go on YouTube too. Um, so front page for John's birthday tomorrow. Should be sweet. Should be sweet. All right. So like Rakdos Ensnaring Bridge, Pia and Kieran Nalar stuff. Uh, I guess. 
I mean, Core Firewalker is not like amazing, but I just love Avalanche Riders. I want to have Avalanche Riders in all day, every day. Um, Containment Priest doesn't do anything. Heart sucks. Um, I don't think Condemns very good either. I just don't really need that. I mean, Bolt's very good either, honestly. I definitely want these cards, I think. Um, I like Rescuer. Rest in Peace teams. Maybe need like two Rest in Peace. Hey, Rest in Peace turns off Yadara. Ugh. Eastern Time, yes. Eastern Time. Avalanche Riders is good against lands, and they have lands. I agree. I agree. Uh, Blood Moon seems bad. I agree with that, too. Um, Rest in Peace turning off Yadara really sucks. It's really unfortunate. Um... This deck does feel like it's lacking in a way to actually like win a game. We spin our wheels a lot, which is pretty fun, but is he bringing like the abrade maybe? We don't want rest in peace. We have, we have a lot of ways to exile Croxa anyway. These bolts aren't very good. Um I don't know how good getting them at trials is. The priests don't seem very good either. I don't know. I don't know. Spirit Guide doesn't seem very good either, but... Priest does not stop Croxon now. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll keep this. Mr. Fox, Mr. Fox. Matic Vista, go. All right, untap. Contem, awkward. Cycling. Okay. I don't understand how you've drawn so many lands um it's like has probably way too few lands in it and we just like we just rack them up but i guess there's just a lot of air in this deck anyway um all right so they're playing around blood moon which is nice young pyromancer okay i mean i guess we worded out some of our bolts which is kind of awkward. Oh, never mind. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, just attack, bolt. Oh, we didn't put more bolts out. Never mind. We have all. We have all the all the, all the bolts are in. Terminate. That's old school. That's some boomer magic right there. Terminate my fox. Sure. <laughs> All righty then. Um, hmm. Have we cast more spirit guides than we've exiled? Yeah. Yeah. This deck has some fundamental issues, um, for sure. Uh, I think I might cut this league short, because it just like this deck just like isn't really built right. It's 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 pretty amusing and it's cool, but like playing a full league with this deck seems kind of unnecessary. Um what do y'all think we should do? You know, other decks to play? Um Maybe like a, we'll play like three matches instead of, of five. Um <laughs> We've gotten the joke. Yeah, I mean this deck just like there's cool things happening, but Nothing's really functional. Um, if I were to rebuild it, I want to do it off stream to take some time and work with it. Um, Thoughtseize, sure. And after Thoughtseize, we played Reanimator. Yes, we have uh, Band Company is next. Magmatic Channeler. That card's cool. Forgotten Cave, okay. That. 
Nothing to not like about an Avalanche Riders. Avalanche Riders is always good. Always good. Yeah, but this thing is just, I think it's like it's just like fundamentally confused. Um, doesn't really have a clear plan. Um, the cards don't necessarily even work together. This, if I were a league, so I did five O a league, but um, need some work. We need some work. So only two cards and only two spells in the bin. Do we echo here? Yeah, we got to echo because when we draw an actual slide later, we want to flicker it. So, Penny echo, draw a card. <laughs> There's our buddy. Um, no good attacks here. Six double blocks. So we'll see. We'll see. Go. What do you think about Eldrazi Tron in Modern? It probably isn't a cast two matter shapers on turn three with natural Tron. I don't know. I never been a fan of that deck. So Spirit Guide only makes sense with Blood Moon, and then otherwise, otherwise it just seems terrible. So and then Blood Moon doesn't even seem that good in this deck. Discard Croxa, exiling Eidolon of the Great Rebel. What? Why? <laughs> that doesn't even make sense. Yadaro, no! I'm so sad. A braid? You put it to one, I guess. Right? Alright. Put them to one. Turn off all their fetch lines. What do they have Eidolon on their deck for? It's not a weird one. Like. Doesn't make sense as a main deck card. And then as a sideboard card, like. We don't even cast spells, we cycle things. So what's the point, you know? Seasoned Pyromancer. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Um, I guess, yeah, now they got even more blockers. So we do have a couple bolts in our deck and a Johnny. Probably just draw into those right now. Croxon does kill really fast, though, so. All right, big draw. A Johnny Vengeant. Uh, yeah, I think we're just gonna abort mission here. Um, again, this day five out of league in the hands of um, Shock Chan. Um, it's a cool idea. I think that like I can show you guys my my slide decks that I've built. Um, so I, I have a a Naya slide deck. Because both both these videos are on my YouTube. I'll go check it out. Um, but Naya slide where we're working with uh, Life Malome and Renin Six to return our cycling lands, and we have. Rallier to flicker and Wall of Blossoms to flicker, Thrag Dust to flicker. Um, we're also playing 26 lands with all of our all of our cycling lands. And then I had a Bant Slide deck, which is here, um, which is a, a Chalice of the Void deck. I think they're both Chalice decks. And same idea, playing four copies of Life from Alone. It's trying to re rebuy your, your cycling lands. Uh, Coiling Oracle, really good with Astral Drifts. Um, this is playing Illuminations and Force Indication, which is kind of cool. Um, so that was those. These are my thoughts. Also playing 26 lands. So definitely tried out Astro Drift, Astro Drift before. I've not played Yadaro before. That, that one's a little off the radar, I think. But um, so definitely look for those on YouTube if you want to see more Astral Drift deck action. But this deck just feels too, uh, just too off to me. Just too off. So we're going to move on. Uh, YouTube folks, look for those other Astral Drift decks on my YouTube stream, folks. Um, we're playing more. We're going to play some, uh, nope, not this deck. Nope, not this deck. Nope, not this deck. We're going to play some Bant Company with, uh, with Glass Pool Mimic and Skyclave Apparition. A bunch of new cards in here for Bant Company, but YouTube folks, different video. All right, so YouTube, like, comment, subscribe. I love you, and I'll see you in the, the next